del film City of Your Final Destination, film fuori concorso. Ho il piacere di, eh, ho il piacere di, di presentarvi eh, i nostri ospiti. Allora, alla mia sinistra il produttore Paul Bradley, eh, al suo fianco il compositore Jorge Dexler. Alessandra Maria Lara, bentornata perché naturalmente era già qui due anni fa e ehm, il regista James Howard. Se ci sono già delle domande partirei da voi, altrimenti, ce ne, no, ce ne, altrimenti comincio io. Eh, io... Aspettiamo solo un secondo. Funziona, funziona i microfoni? Do you hear? Ok. 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 So, allora, la prima domanda è, volevo chiedere a, a James Ivory, eh, che cosa l'ha colpita di questo romanzo? Eh, Peter Cameron è molto apprezzato anche in Italia, ci sono schiere di fan, io veramente sono una di queste. E, e quindi volevo capire cosa le è piaciuto in particolare di questo romanzo, perché proprio questo romanzo da portare sullo schermo? Okay. Okay. Hello? Okay. Um, when I read the novel, people told, uh, pe people told me about the novel and, then, and, and I also read the reviews of it in the New York Times. And, but I didn't, uh, I didn't get around to doing anything about it until uh, I, I went to a film festival and, and, and a friend of mine there showed me the book and said, I think you'll like this, and he put it in my pocket. And that's how I re really started reading the book, and uh, um, which I enjoyed immediately. I thought it was a very good book, and I just uh, thought, well, this would make a terrific movie. But part of, my, part of my pleasure with it was the idea of going to South America. I, I had never been in South America. And the idea of making a film in South America was uh, also something I liked. And then on top of that, the, of course, the, the, the most important reason was the, the story and the characters, which I liked very much. So that's how it all came about. The series of events and... Uh, Cioè, avevo visto una mano alzata, no, e poi volevo anche ancora chiedere ad Ivory ehm, se aveva sin dall'inizio in mente questi attori. Due di loro l'ho fatto. Ho immediatamente pensato di Anthony Hopkins e gli ho mandato il script e lui immediatamente ha detto che vorrebbe farlo. And uh, actually was here in Rome when I came here to do uh, The White Countess for the, the premiere. I asked, uh, I, I asked Hiroyuki Sonata whether he would like to play the part of Pete. And then after that, uh, uh, I, I'd always thought of Charlotte Gainsbourg for this. And, and I'd met her in Paris and I liked her very much and I thought that she, uh, She'd be just, just exactly right for this. But the other parts were more difficult to, to, to cast. Um, no one wanted to, to play Alexander's part. <laughs> they, 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 they didn't like, uh, I don't know, they couldn't, no, no actress was interested in playing that part. They, they all thought that she was, uh, you know, an ambitious bitch. And, uh, <laughs> so no one wanted to be seen like that. And, and then they also didn't want to play the part of Caroline. And she too was a bitch. And uh, so it went from actress to actress, but luckily I, 
Uh, before it went too far, I thought of Laura Linney, and she liked playing a bitch, and uh, so it was different from her usual roles. Where... C'è una domanda lì, prego. Infatti ci sono due, una per Jorge Drexler, e come questa...